In today's video, I want to explore why world leaders are reluctant to support Mr. Trump in his quest to hold China accountable for the origins of the coronavirus spread. <laughs> So a lot has been said about the origins of COVID. Some people assume that the COVID virus was manufactured in a laboratory in Wuhan, China. Other people say it was just an accident of science, but still in a laboratory in China. When you go to the Russians, they say, no, the Americans might have manufactured the virus intended for a certain destination and then it just all went wrong. Science has got its own answers. I know that research has shown that none of those is true, that this virus just transmuted from animals and then to human beings, but most probably also in a market in China. So does Mr. Trump have a point when he says China should be held accountable for the outbreak of the coronavirus. Now, I'm not a fan of Mr. Trump. So don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of Mr. Trump or his style of leadership. But there's one thing I know that I like about Trump. He could be very decisive on issues when he wants to. And I think it has been a little bit disappointing, in my personal opinion, to see that nobody has supported him in his quest to try and dig deep to find out exactly who is responsible for the outbreak of the coronavirus. Is it true that the virus could have been stopped in its tracks if China had been a little bit more open? Is it true that the Chinese went to bed, so to say, with the World Health Organization and then covered the tracks of the virus and then when it became a hot potato, only then they disclosed it. So who is responsible? World leaders have been very quiet. Either China is very powerful, people fear it. Either China has got so much influence, people fear that as soon as they speak about China, they will disinvest or they will put visa embargoes or trade embargoes on them. Or something is just not becoming because we must find out what happened and we must take some lessons from the outbreak of this virus now you must give credit where credit is due because the prime minister of australia actually stood out to the chinese especially about covid i remember he was one of the guys who also raised his voice and said in a way we must hold the Chinese accountable. Okay, so Mr. Morris, we salute you on that one. And we are calling on so many other leaders. I have listened to the uh, United Nations uh, Forum where they were debating and everybody was just defending themselves, where Mr. Trump then put it to the world leaders to say, China must be held accountable for the origins of the coronavirus and Mr. Ching, the president of China, also stood to the defense of his country and said it would not help if superpowers are just fighting each other. I think it's not this is not about a fight. This is about accountability. Who is accountable for the outbreak of coronavirus? Coronavirus has caused so much commotion. It has killed so many people. So many livelihoods have been destroyed. Some companies have gone out of business that have been operating for 30, 20 years. Okay. So many people have, have lost their relatives, their parents, their, their 
their next of kin. So many people don't know where to get their next piece of bread. And it's because of the outbreak of the coronavirus. And the question is, who is accountable? I think what leaders must have their heads sober on this one. I think they need to debate and say, where did the virus come from? What actually happened? Because this will help us in future to avoid such disasters. If we just cover up, we don't talk about it because we are censored China is so powerful. We are censored um, China will react or will respond in a way that will hurt us financially or politically. And so we don't ask the difficult questions. The truth of the matter is that this thing could repeat itself in future. A virus could still break out, whether in Africa, in South Africa here, or in Korea, or in the United States, or in Russia. And so, there'll be no records to say, last time when this happened, this is what we did. Because even now, scientists are busy responding to this virus based on the other viruses. So that means that in health issues, just like in law, History is important, referring to the old cases of what happened in that case, what happened in that matter, what happened when this, this happened. It does help. So, I don't understand why there's very little or no support for Mr. Trump in his quest to hold the Chinese accountable. Even if it's not the Chinese, anyone, it could have been anyone. It could have been the Russians. It could have been the Americans themselves. It could have been the Africans. But we must ask the difficult questions. And the questions are simple. Where did the virus come from? Okay, you will answer me and say, but science has already answered that. Okay, fine. If science has established that this virus then came from animals, and, and jumped onto human beings. We also have to raise questions on how these markets are run in China. We can't tell them what to eat, but we can ask questions on how those markets are run. Okay, that's number one. Number two, we could also raise questions and say, what happened? What did they do as soon as they knew that they have a virus behind their, their doors. What happened? Because Mr. Trump alleges that they then cover up, covered it up. Mr. Trump alleges that they then went to bed, so to say, with the World Health Organization. These are some of the reasons why he has pulled a taxpayer's man of the United States from the World Health Organization, because he feels that the World Health Organization then is an organization that is no longer independent, but has been bought and put into the pockets of the Chinese. Okay, so, and I'm not saying all his allegations are correct. I'm just saying we need to sober up, stand up, straighten up, and ask the difficult questions to say who is responsible for the outbreak of the coronavirus? What could have been done differently to stop the virus? What are some of the lessons that we can both take from the outbreak. And I, on this, I support the director of the World Health Organization. He said, we all need to make an introspection on ourselves, including the World Health Organization themselves. They need to look at themselves and say, maybe somehow, somewhere they lapsed, or they trusted China too much, or in their oversight role, they were not, uh, they need to make an introspection and say somehow, somewhere, something went wrong. That's how this virus just became a global issue. Because this virus, if it's cornered and cities are locked down and countries are locked down, this virus does not spread too much. But air traffic continued to travel in and out of China. China remained open to trade for the world and within itself until such a time when this thing became a global issue. Okay, so we need to raise these difficult questions. Ideas, as always, please leave a comment below under this video. 
What do you think could have been done differently to stop the outbreak of the coronavirus? And if nothing, then what could have been done to control its spread when it broke out in Wuhan, China? Are the Chinese responsible? Should we hold the Chinese responsible? Does Mr. Trump have a point to say we should hold the Chinese responsible? Do you agree with world leaders to keep quiet and not support Mr. Trump's quest to try and hold the Chinese accountable? Please leave a comment as always. We are always grateful that you visit our channel. Please subscribe and ring the bell so that whenever a video is posted, you get notified on our provocative current affairs and lifestyle content. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.